Hey everyone, it's Sam McKay here. Today I want to go over another really cool example around scenarios and how you can incorporate multiple scenarios or multiple what-if scenarios all at once. And you can really quickly see how all of these can impact a, uh, how you can see all of these individual parameters, how they might, might impact multiple scenarios. Because in reality, that's that's what might happen. You might do, uh, in, in one scenario, you might want to see, well, if I increase the price and demand uh, stays the same or, or decreases and also our costs change, that is going to impact, uh, that they could all happen consequently uh, to each other. Um, so one could Im impact another. But you might also want to see, well, um, you know, there might be a best case, there might be an okay case, there might be a worst case with all of those different um, uh, parameters that could affect that particular scenario. So I'm going to show, show you how I've created a model that enables you to, to analyze all of these all at once. Now the first thing we had to do, I had to do, so I'll just give you an example of what this actually does first. So in this case, what, what I've got is I've got uh, a price change uh, parameter, a demand change parameter, and a cost change parameter. Per parameter and then I've got these scenarios here where I've got best case, okay case and worst case and you can see that the best case is we increase prices, demand actually increases from that which would be quite surprising but um, I, I'm sure it has happened before. Um, people may view it as a more premium product so they go buy it more for example and then we might be lucky enough that the costs change as well. And then we've got our OK case, which says that we increase the prices, nothing happens to demand, and our costs decrease by 1%. And we've got worst case, where we don't change the price, but demand just falls, and our costs increase. So this is just the example I set up, and I've set up three scenarios here. But the, uh, what I want to get across is the technique, the techniques it took to actually get this, because there's a number, right? There's a number of techniques. And so what we can do, I've got a date slicer here, and I'm, I'm looking at cumulatively what the impact, what the impact of these um, these best, worst, okay cases are, are to our um, actuals. So we've got uh, what our actual profits or forecasted profits are, but then I've, I've then gone and shocked them with these multiple uh, what if scenarios and seen well, what is going to be the, the impact throughout, throughout the year in this case um, with those changes. Okay, so now the first thing we ha I had to do was I needed to create a table. I needed to, cr to create a table here, uh, like so, that that listed out the best case, okay case, and worst case, and what those parameters or what those scenarios involve. So we've got price change, demand change, cost change. And then once I did that, I needed to work out, based on a selection here, I needed to work out what these actually were. And so if you come across here, you'll see here I've used this pattern. It's quite a quite a similar pattern to what I've used in a lot of the scenario analysis type analysis but what what I've done here is I've gone if has one value so if the scenarios is selected then equal to that uh, uh, scenario price change in this instance I've used min because you've got to use something so uh, in this case uh, it just goes and picks up what the actual price change is because there is only should only be ever one value when something is selected here because in the table there is only one line right and if nothing is selected, these should all equal zero, which is right. Uh, and that's what that logic does. So if we click through, we can quickly see uh, what um, those scenarios are. Okay, so then, and then comes the, um, the integral logic part here. And this is the formula I have used to integrate all of these changes to um, to this to a particular scenario. This is a, if you've watched this, one of the other videos on um, Enterprise DNA uh, TV channel, you would have seen uh, this approach used in the multi multi layered scenario analysis. And what all it's doing right is through the SumX formula, it's 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 creating the shocks based on the based on these values. And so you see here that uh, f uh, and so if we break it down, we've got um, this is the a revenue part and this is the costs part okay and so within the revenue part I'm going sales order quantity times the demand change here so the quantity of the demand of the quantity uh, if the demand for something increases we're going to sell more of the quantity and then we're going to times we're going to times that by the unit price increased or shocked for the price change and then in the cost side, we're going to increase the quantity again by the demand. But instead of price change, we're going to incorporate the cost change. 
And what this enables us to do is through this one formula, we can work out what our scenario profits are, incorporating all of these individual parameters inside this formula. So, and that's uh, so what, what I recommend here is an understanding SUMX and iterators in general is really, really crucial. And the big thing here is that to remember with, um, with formulas with an X on, on the end is they iterate through every single row in the table that you put here. So for every single individual transaction or sale we have made, we can then go and put place these shocks on top of them. Okay, so now that we've done that, you've got to remember now that we've got multiple scenarios. We're not, we don't just have one scenario like I've done in previous examples, we've got multiple. And by the way, and by setting up the way we have where we've incorporated these measures and these measures change based on our selection here, we can now and get multiple scenarios. We can incorporate these multiple scenarios in, inside our logic. And so what I've done, what I've done is I've then gone in and I've individually, I've individually worked out, and this is quite a busy chart, but if we if we shorten down the time frame a little bit, you'll see that I've individually gone and uh, calculated best case scenario, okay case scenario, and worst case scenario. And if we actually go to those formulas, if we go to those formulas, you'll see all I've done is I've utilized this scenario profits, right? The scenario profits, which has all of that inbuilt logic. And then I've just used calculate to basically break out what the, the best case result would be. And I've also done it for the okay case result and the worst case result. And that's what delivers us this chart. So we can compare it to actual total. So I'm just our general forecasted profits. And then on top of that, what I've done, because I want to see things cumulatively, I want to see how things accumulate over time, I've then gone and used these formulas. I've branched out again into the cumulative total pattern. And then you'll see here that I've, I've used, um, I've just incorporated that measure or branched out that measure inside the same pattern every single time. And then that's given us each individual scenario cumulatively. And that's how we then can see um, see the, see this chart here. And the cool thing about this chart is, no matter what time frame we select here, it actually adjusts. It always start from zero. So if we only wanted to see what was the impact, what's going to be the dollar impact cumulatively over a, uh, over a, you know say a three month period or something like that but between these months, we can actually see that cumulatively. We can see that the best case is going to deliver us eight point four million versus the worst case, which could be four million. So there is quite uh, quite a bit there, but um, this is such an awesome technique. I mean, what you can achieve um, incorporating these. I mean, this is just the start. I mean, you could you could have multiples of scenarios. You could have um, uh, you could have more parameters that you incorporate. Uh, it's just it's just a really awesome technique for uh, so many different um, business scenarios, corporate scenarios, analytical scenarios. Uh, so the the key is more. Um, I always, yeah, you know, I want to reiterate is the technique here. If you can if you can embed down this technique in your mind and how you can use it, there's just so many different opportunities analytically to to really um, you know, produce really good insight, a uh, really good insight that's going to um, create some value, and make it make a real difference. So as uh, as mentioned, this will be made available uh, through the Enterprise DNA uh, training portal. So you just all you've got to do is just log on there, uh, and, and be um, amongst all the other uh, resources available. Hope you got a lot out of this video, and um, good luck with using this technique in your own analysis. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.